Hello everyone, this is Exact here with another YouTube tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about Discobytes version 2.5.1. Well, we're going to be showing you how to make an application center, not talking about it. So, we have upgraded to point, um, point 2.5.1 for ease of access reasons, and as well to help improve to make uh, um, our customer support as well as our ease of access so it's way easier to create the application center now little's changed however is a very important update i will be answering some questions um after this video is done and uh, most common questions actually and what new features this um brings as well so we're gonna go here and this link will be on the video description we're gonna click the three dots all right and we're gonna click edit we're in editing now. And now, what we can do is, this should be blank. Let me just switch it back. There we go. You should see this screen. Now, you need to open your Explorer, which you can find in View. Click Explorer, and as well as Properties, and drag them over here. Then, when you're all done with that, click Start a GUI. Then click Request a GUI. And then, double-click on Discobytes Customizer. And then you should see the group ID if you're not new here. Uh, basic, well, if you're new here or if you're a returning customer, it doesn't matter. Uh, basically, you must have a group now in order to use the application center to change the ta um, title at least, not to use it because it really doesn't matter. So we're going to copy my favorite group, which is Disney Parks. Shout out to them as well because they're a nice community. We're going to paste in our group ID, and basically what this is going to do is going to change the title to the group name. Now, I want to change the background colors, so let's go to background colors. As you can see, we can change in background, but it's going to change. It's going to revert back to the to the that color, the original color at least. And I don't want that per se. I, I I'm an open color guy. We're going to go to background, and we're going to choose the color that we want. I want to go with, why don't we go with pink? Because I love pink. So, we're going to go here, and we're going to c c um, copy this background color ID, and we're going to go to Disco Bytes Customizer Script, all right? We're going to erase the numbers they provided for us, and we're going to copy and paste our own. Now, I'm all done, but you can keep on going. Again, this is your application center. That's just a, this is a demonstration. Now, I want to go to up front. I want to just edit some text. How, um, what's your biggest fear? And basically, what I'm doing is scroll all the way down to questions and go to the question number you want. You can only have eight. And just change your questions over here to anything you would want. Just make sure it's inside the parentheses. So, I already put, what's your biggest fear? It's going to appear there. I'm not going to change the sending text. As a matter of fact, I will. I'm going to put, uh, um, your response is being recorded. Thank you. Again, this is your application center, so you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, now we're all done with this, and we should be all done with Discobytes Customizer entirely. So, now... That we've taken care of that, we're going to have to do the last and final step, which is go to Service Script Service, go to Cloud Hub, and then we're going to have to erase the webhook ID. And reason why we're erasing it is because we're going to replace it with our webhook ID to make sure uh, to read applications on our Discord server, not Discobytes. So we're going to go to our text channels, and we're going to create a new one. Um, make sure to click that plus sign. And then we're going to go... I'm going to... I prefer doing a private channel because I don't want anyone else other than my authorized staff members to read the application. So I'm going to click App Reader. You can you can do this with any role. It doesn't have to be App Reader. Any role. Uh, app Reader. And then it's going to appear here. Click the gear icon, and then click Webhook. We're going to click create a webhook. Then we're going to, click, we're going to put Disney app bot. And we're going to copy the webhook ID. And we're going to click save. We're going to copy over here. 
and boom, we're all done. Now, we're going to click File, then we're going to click Publish to Roblox As, and then we're going to click Update Existing Game. Well, actually, tap back. I'm doing it for me. What you could do is you could do Publish to Roblox, then change whatever game name you want this to be. So, like, that, um, Disney New App System. I'm not going to do that because I prefer, I want my other app testing game to be updated. So I'm going to click override. Uh, technically, you have to click publish. So now we have published it and it's saved instantly. Now I'm going to show you this really quick and then I'm going to be talking about some new features if you are not new here and about what this um, update brings to the table now. So we're going to click uh, start, start Roblox and that, and we're going to wait for our server so we can start our application. And then you see, it changed the color, it changed the name. Did it change the questions? Yes, it did. IDK, D, D, D. I'm just doing random text because I want this application to go. It's going to upload to the cloud. It usually takes about 10 seconds, depending on your network. Mine takes 10 seconds, so it's very instantly and quick. Now it's going to say your response is being recorded. Thank you for your time. Boom. Then if we go back, we should see our questions. And boom. Now, really quick, I want to say something because now you reached the end of the tutorial. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want an in-depth review on this video please go back to the description um and you'll see the original old video and that video still works if you're using version 2.5 or even using the new one it doesn't matter it's just i wanted to point out the new feature which was you have to put your group id and as well as some new features which i'm going to be talking about in just one second so you can stop the video and you're done give yourself a pat on the back and then really quick I'm just going to explain some of the new features if you're new or not new here at Disco Bytes. So, the new features now include this, alright? So, in case if you hate pings, like the at everyone ping, which just got here in App Reader, we can actually change this now using the Cloud Hub script. If we go to screen one, it literally says at everyone searchable, and then we're going to replace that, and we're going to replace it with our own. So, you can... I'm not going to do that at everyone. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave it empty now because I don't want any pings, no searchables, all right? But if I really wanted to, I could just say app needs to be reviewed, and I'm going to make this a bold font. And then I'm going to publish this, and as you can see, it's probably going to replace the text. Yeah, I updated it now. Yay. And also, while this is loading, I would like to talk about something else, which is the new Discobytes functionality script. Do not edit this, please. This is only for me and Knights. If you want to look at the code, feel free to look at the code. Just don't edit it because it's going to mess up the whole entire Discobytes application center. And trust me, we don't want that. So we have sent this to the cloud. Now it says app needs to be reviewed and no ping. Look at that. Anyways... We're going to go to, we're all done with Discobytes functionality. And then here's the last one, which is user to Discord analytics system, which basically allows us to see how many people are looking at your application center, uh, um, application center and helps us track on how many users are sending applications daily, really. Uh, we, don't sh we don't have any personal information. We literally just get ping when someone submits an application center um, sent. Um, send an application to you and, um, as well as to us. But again, we, c we cannot view anything if you're concerned on privacy, so don't worry. We're 100% safe, and don't worry about that. Anyways, that concludes almost everything really quick. Uh, <laughs> I would like to answer some common questions that have gotten in the comments lately. And one of them was that the game wouldn't save. Well, if the game didn't save, you you might have did this incorrectly, but 
if there is a glitch that prevents you from saving, please contact me. I have my Discord open to the public. If you go on to the uh, game comments, you should see my Discord. You Feel free to contact me. I can help you wherever you can. If you Now, here's the correct way, I think, to save it, at least in my opinion. This is what I do to all Roblox application centers, is I don't click Save to Roblox As. I click Publish, not Save. You could do it either way, but I would rather do it publish because you're publishing your game instantly instead of doing other work. Then the second one is how in the how can I receive the help? And basically, well, it's simple. Just join our support Discord, which will be in our description as well. And uh, lastly, I want to talk about something else. I don't know if you guys know this, but we have a service called Pro Service, Discobytes Pro Service. I will link down the website in the below to um, apply, but basically this eliminates any stress of creating an application center. Uh, our staff actually professionally creates application centers for you, that way you don't have to do any work. And the best of all, it's free for everybody. And the best of all as well, it's free forever. So I recommend you go check it out. Thank you for using this tutorial. I really appreciate you watching this video. And make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe to Exit Zach. Thank you very much. Have a great day.